if the truth is to be embraced. Am I right? So, so if, if we know this is true, do we need to do all the research in the world to know about the truth well, for us? As long as we have significant evidence about the truthfulness or about the truth, then we just will just follow it. Am I right? right? That's how it is. So now that's why I'm saying to you. Now we'll have some a small discussion with you, and if Islam made sense to you, yeah, if Islam made sense to you, will you accept to be Muslim? Just if Islam made sense to you, not to sure. me, to you, sure. to Mali, sure. yeah. Okay. Are you okay with saying? Okay. Yeah, I'll say yeah. Listen, All right. So Mali, we'll ask some question to you. You are a God believer, yes? Um, in, in, a, in a sense. <coughs> there is one God, sure. the creator of the heavens and the earth, yeah? Sure. So w this God, has he created us? Do you think that when he has created us, did he create us for a purpose? Or he created us with no purpose? Oh, with a purpose. There is a purpose. Now, this purpose, let's say, is it just only eating and drinking reproduction or there is a deeper purpose for our existence? Deep purpose. So this deeper purpose, let me uh, suggest this, and if you agree with me, we'll move on. The purpose is to be grateful to the Creator. That's all. To choose to be grateful to the Creator. Do you accept this? I mean, uh, not bad. Yeah. yeah. For example, not if bad. yeah, for, for example, that uh, Allah so to, so so to us in the Quran that that Allah says Allah has legislated to be uh, to be grateful to the Creator and to be grateful to your parents. Meaning you parents to be grateful to them. Am I right? Yeah? So that's why the purpose that I'm suggesting is to be grateful to the Creator. Do you accept this? Yes. Now, being grateful to the Creator is basically this is how we worship God. Yeah? To be, for example, you are from the United States. Am I right? Yeah. So, for example, being grateful here in the UK to someone may be slightly different than being grateful to someone in the United States. They have certain attitude. For example, here, they, you maybe maybe more smile, etc. And maybe in uh, in the United States, they have they will show more. For example, kind of more charming, you could say, word, etc. So it depends on the culture. Am I right? Yes. So that's why. And when you are we as human being, we try to see how to be grateful to the people in the way that they like. For example, if you go to Japan, people they you know if you say to someone thankful, thank you, thank you all the time, they will not see it as an attitude regard for until you kind of you nod your head like this. That's how they are. Yeah. My point is, if we wanted to be grateful to the Creator, is it according to what I think or, or is it according to what has the Creator has told us? Okay. Which means the Creator has to send to us revelation from Him, teaching us how to be grateful to Him. Yes. Okay. So that's why he has sent the prophets and the messengers, peace be upon all of them. So he has sent Noah, has sent Abraham, has sent Moses, has sent Jesus, and has sent Muhammad, peace be upon all of them. And he told them to teach the people how to be grateful to the Creator. Yeah? So that's why when we showed you earlier, yeah, that for example, we we bow, we prostrate to God, yeah. you know, that's how we are. That's how to show gratefulness, our, grateful, yeah. our gratitude to the Creator. Yes? You agree with this? Okay, good. Now, me and you, we, have, we are on one page, we believe in one God, yes? We believe that as well God has sent prophets and messengers. You kind of agreed up to Jesus that he's a prophet sent by God, yes? And, but as well, you know that Jesus, for example, or you accept, for example, Jesus definitely is not God, is not a son of God, actually he was a prophet sent by God. And as well as Muslim, we believe in his miraculous birth. Because God is able to create Adam with no father and mother. He's able to create Jesus with no father. He's able to do that. Yeah? Yeah. Now, the following point. Jesus, peace be upon him, he as well, we, we said to you, he's a prophet and sent by God. Now, it comes to the point, the conclusion, if I prove to you that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is a prophet sent by God. Now, the, our agreement, if it made sense to you, that means you will accept to be Muslim. Am I right? Yes. Okay. So that's the only thing. Which you, you if, if you are convinced yeah, that Muhammad is a prophet actually sent by God, that means Islam is the truth and that means we have to follow the truth. That's how it is. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I mean, I always Yeah. Yes? So maybe I've always Yes. All right. So here, if we read the Quran, by the way, and I will give you some certain things, certain points in the Quran teaches you 
that this book firstly came from God. Firstly, now the book here, the Quran, is basically uh, basically revealed to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Yeah? And it has information about God, about other prophets and messengers, etc. Now, here what you use this analogy, yeah? The Quran has certain information about God. Either, yeah, bless you. Either the Quran was inspired by the devil to Muhammad, yeah? Or the Quran, the book, the Quran was made of Muhammad. He made things, he put things, he put his thoughts, ideas, etc. Compiled it in a book and put it, put it for the people, yeah? And put it for the people. What's going on here? Yeah. And put it for the people. Or it was inspired by God. Do you have other options? No. Yeah. So let's let's analyze the first one. Now let's discuss if the Quran was inspired by the devil to Muhammad. Now, whenever we read the Quran, we as Muslims we say "Aoudu billahi min al-shaytan," meaning, uh, meaning I seek refuge in God from the outcast devil, from from the whispers of the devil. And every time, whenever we read the Quran, and Allah told us in the Quran, whenever you read the Quran, seek refuge in God from the outcast devil. Whenever you read the Quran, now. And as will the devil in the Quran being cursed numerous times, cursed in the Quran. And, and, and God is warning us against the devil. Don't follow the steps of the devil. Will will mislead you, will will go, will make you to go astray, etc. So if it was inspired by the devil, do you think that he will be cursed so many times in the Quran? And he will be as well all the time, whenever we want to read the Quran, we have to seek refuge in God from him. And not just that. The work of the devil to make us to deceive us, to make us to go astray from the worshiping God. Yes, but actually the Quran is actually instructing us to worship God and God alone with no partners. Yes. Now, do you think this work of the devil? No. The second option. Now, if this a work of Muhammad peace be upon him, he thought about it, he put things together and he put it there as a book. Now, now in the Quran, if I wanted to make a book. Do you think I will be criticizing myself in the book? Yeah? Especially if I wanted to appear to the people to praise me, to honor me, to give me my status. Do you think I will be criticizing myself? In the, in the Quran, actually, in many places in the Quran, you'll find Allah has criticized the Prophet, peace be upon him, about certain things. Yeah? I'm, I'm saying to you, for example, read. Yeah? Here, yeah. One second, I will open for you. Here, here. Look at the. He or he, the prophet. Turn away. Do you understand what this? So God is saying to him, the story is, the Prophet peace be upon him, he was talking to the leaders of Quraysh, his tribe. So he was talking to them, discussing with them, telling them, don't worship the idols, worship the one God. And they were saying bad words to him. And then they left him and he was angry. In the time when he was angry, in that mood, a blind man who's a believer came to the room. He wanted to ask about God. And then because he was, his first feature was kind of, he was grumpy, he was angry, peace be upon him. Yeah. He, the blind man, they didn't see him. He was blind. Yeah. He didn't see him. So he was asking. But here Allah, the one who saw him, criticized him, saying to him, you shouldn't turn away from those. This blind man is way worth more than all of the other ones. And you shouldn't be turning away from him. You shouldn't be showing even an angry face in his presence. So the question is, if it was his work, if it was his work, will he criticize himself in his own book? 
Now, as well, adding to this, in some verses of the Quran, <coughs> talking to him, Allah, the hypocrites, who used to be known hypocrites, came to him. They asked him their permission not to go with him somewhere. Yeah, And then Allah criticized him. They said to him, Allah lak. May Allah forgive you and pardon you. Why did you permit them to stay? So here, Allah again is saying to him, criticizing him about certain things. Yeah? In Surah Al-Tahrim, Ya Ayyuh Nabi, Limut Haram Ahad. O Prophet of Allah, why do you prohibit things? Allah has made lawful for you. So Allah here is using certain things, criticizing him about certain things. Now, if it was his work and the Quran, bear in mind, we read it. We have two billion Muslims on earth. We read the Quran five times a day and including the criticism from Allah to his prophet. Now, yeah. Now here the question is, do you accept now it's definitely it's not the work of Muhammad. Now what we remain with what? Basically it's God. Why? Directing me and directing our sister Mali to worship this one God, to bow to God, to prostrate to God, to be grateful to God, to be grateful to our parents, to deal with our parents in a good way, directing us to be good to our mothers. All of these things, these are the teachings of, of, of Quran. This is the teaching of Muhammad. Now, does that make sense to you that the Muhammad peace is a prophet sent by God? Yes. What was our agreement? <laughs> that if I could agree with those three things, that I would be Muslim. Exactly. And to inspire you more. There are certain information in the Quran which it cannot be said by someone who lived 1400 years ago. It's impossible. Like, for example, God talked to, told us in the Quran about certain miracles, which is impossible. Like, for example, the development, the development of the fetus in the womb of the mother, how it developed inside the womb. No one knows. Only recently we discovered this. Who taught him about this? Tell me who taught him. Yes. The divine. Now, our agreement was in the beginning that, yeah, that's our agreement, going back to the agreement. Yeah? yeah? I know many American people, that they, they are the people of their world. Yeah? Uh, yes. Okay. That's how it is. So that's why we have agreed. If the Quran made sense to you, you will accept to be Muslim today. Yeah? That was the agreement. Am I right? Sure, it was the agreement. Yes. And that's why, I, and I will tell you something. Islam is a journey of knowledge, a journey we learn, and, and we will be there to teach you. The way to become Muslim, Sister Mali, is to say a testimony. The testimony to testify, there is no one worthy to be worshipped except Allah. Allah is the, means the one God. And to testify that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Simple as that. We'll say it in English, we'll say it in Arabic, and then you will be officially Muslim. And you will be a member of two billion Muslim brothers and sisters on earth. And we are happy having you as a sister in Islam. Okay? So repeat after me. I testify, I testify. that there is, there that is. No, one no one worthy, worthy. To, be to be worshipped except, except. Allah. Allah. And I testify, and I testify. That, Muhammad that Muhammad is the messenger, is the messenger. of Allah. Allah. I say it in Arabic. Ashhadu. 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 Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa. Illa. Allah. Allah. Wa. Wa. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Rasulu. Rasulu. Allah. 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 That's all. <laughs> Thank you. How do you feel, sister? I feel very good. Thank you. You see here, I will tell you something, sister. You are born, <laughs> I don't know. You are born, sister, in a client to believe in one God. That's what we teach as Muslims. We teach to believe in one God. We teach to prostrate to God. We teach to, to worship God. We don't worship Muhammad. We don't worship Jesus. We worship no one but Allah. That's what we say, at there is no one worthy to be worshipped except Allah. That's how it is. This is the beauty of it. So now, you know where you belong. You belong to Islam. We're happy having you as a Muslim sister to us. 
and inshallah if you have a questions you have that that as i said to you islam is a journey of learning so what we will do one of the sisters will take your details and if you wanted to have uh, we'll, we have a group of uh, on whatsapp if you have some questions or anything ask anytime and we are happy so to much. answer your questions all right sister thank you so much oh, 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 oh claudia's here um what is this yeah just oh i'm american it's okay what's up what's up yeah plus one and then anyways Alhamdulillah, Allah Azza wa Jalla enabled us to bring people to Islam. We ask Allah, we ask Allah to accept from us and and the sister. And we ask Allah to enable us to, I mean, we ask Allah to enable us to help many people to accept Islam. Wajazakum Allah khair. Subhanakallahu wa bihamdika. Nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Subhanakallahu wa bihamdika.